My name is Adam Gabowski. I've been a designer for three and a half years, almost, working for LEGO for nearly seven now. And I designed the uh, Imperial Shuttle. Other themes and models that I worked on. I began at Indiana Jones, um, where I did the Temple Escape. Then I swapped for just half a year to Star Wars, where I was um, had a chance to build a Republic gunship. And then um, there was some uh, sketch modeling for um, Space Police and for uh, SpongeBob. And then Star Wars again and Power Miners. And then I swapped to Star Wars again for about one and a half years, working continuously just on Star Wars models. And um, the Imperial Shot was the last model that I did for Star Wars. The research that I used to do the model was um, obviously first watching the movies over and over again and asking Lucas for, for, for pictures of the, of, the, um, of the actual model that was used back in the days to, to shoot the scenes. And um, after the initial prototype, I went uh, to a friend of mine um, uh, who's from Poland. He's a fan designer, Maciek, and um, he already built this one as a fan model. So we thought that um, it might be smart to actually ask him if we can use some of the features that he used for his model because obviously he spent so much time and so many thoughts on it that there was um, a possibility to, to actually take an almost perfect model and just turn it into a set. I think without changing the best things, it's about 65% that we thought out and 45% it, its model that, uh, um, that Maciek did. Well. Um, the hardest part on a model like this is obviously the size. Um, as long as it is reasonably easy to build something like that for yourself, um, so that it doesn't need to be split and, and, and uh, doesn't need uh, to, to be shown on the building instructions, it, it seems to be quite easy. But um, to think out a way um, so that the, that the elements are in a certain order, that's, that, that's, that is very hard. Uh, one of the favorite things um, about the model is definitely its size. It's not every day that you build something that big. Um, the other thing that I really like is that you don't have to have a display like this because it actually has a landing gear. As soon as you put up the wings, you can take the lady off and then put the landing gear underneath. Obviously, there will be many people who ask themselves why didn't we make a retra retractable landing gear and why do we have to put it off from the underneath and stuff. But, I mean, it's all a thing about stability and, and, and how it works. But on the other side, I mean, it stands on two feet and then you can have it um, displayed next to your Millennium Falcon, which I think is um, a brilliant thing because up until now the Millennium Falcon was a kind of standalone thing. Now we have to think uh, where to put this one as well.